Hello everybody. It's a new day. So, we have motor down. And uh it's time to do some more adventuring. And luckily, the island I landed on actually has a nice little strip of plains. So, don't have to worry too much about making a whole new portal since we're already close by. Time to see if we die. <laughs> we're gonna have loxes to deal with. We're going to have fuelings. We're gonna have, as you can see, death skeetos to deal with. Come on. Oh, there's a fueling. Okay, wait. What do I deal with first? Fueling's playing games. Here we go. Yeah. We got the we got the death mosquito. Aha! Eat it. Well, not too bad. So long as I get the uh, so long as I get off the parry, we should be okay. Okay, those are loxes. Them big furry lizard oxes. They're pretty. I think there's really no need to do this. But I think I might tame one just to have one. They're adorable. Wow. Uh, that was fast. There's an encampment. Which means I might be able to pluck one or two before they get to me. There's one. Got one. Ha. Well, that's good. Another one? I should do it. Gotta love it when they just stand there looking at you. Oh, there's another one. Oh, he's chucking spears, though. Bring it. Got the parry off. Very nice. You're still in there, huh? He's dead. Got another one right there. Any more? Still hearing combat music. Might as well be armed as we approach, huh? Oh, that's good. That is a fueling totem. Those are used to summon the next boss. Off to a good start. I think we already... I think we're cleared. Can I... No? Okay. Do it this way. Black metal, yay! I want a goblin trophy. Or, excuse me, fueling trophy. Very nice. We're getting goodies. We're getting goodies. I'm excited to see these uh, death mosquito needles because one, I like I like needle arrows; they're good. Two, I'll eventually get to make a porcupine, spiky boy mace. Oh, there we go, cloud berries. Yay, new recipes. I don't think that was a food recipe, though. Probably not going to see new food recipes until we get E. Uh, we have to get barley. And we have to get lox meat. And I think there's one more. Um, 
Oh, there's another thing that grows out here. I can't remember what it's called. It's barley and... It's escaping me. Hopefully we find some. And I will remember then. Now the best way to find some is to actually attack a fueling, like, village. Not just a little encampment, encampment like that one. Um, because those will actually have farm plots in them that we can raid. So many berries. This is so good. Okay. Off to a great start. We're not even that far in. We just got to keep our eyes out for uh, death mosquitoes. They are unforgiving. If I don't block one, it, it hurts. Oh, hey, hey, big guy. Got him. <laughs> it's always, it always feels good to knock out a death mosquito before it even starts charging. Any more? Not seeing any. The weather is getting ominous. Wait, wait, wait. I saw you. Where'd you go? I saw a death mosquito. Well, hopefully it didn't see me. And, uh... It doesn't come after me when I'm not paying attention. Gotcha. That's a fueling camp. Small one. It's a good idea to take that out. I think they know I'm here. No? They do now. One down. I think there's another one. Yeah, there he is. Luckily, fueling's kind of like try to circle around you a bit first, and then they go in after you. Gives you time to prepare. Nope. Aw, oh, dang it. Angle. That's the worst. Come here. There we go. Another one that bites the best. I wonder if they had anything in their camp. Let's see. Anything useful? Did I pass it? They had a fire. Oh, maybe... Oh, no, that was his torch. So they were just chilling there. Okay. Ooh, a tar pit. Oh, I hear a fueling. Hold on. Where are you at? Are you near me? There you are. Come on, let's do it. Swing. Gotta admit, this is going better than I expected. Pretty happy with it. So if that was a tar pit, Tar pits are very interesting. You essentially... Yep, there it is. One, you have these awful creatures called growths that are essentially like the oozers from the... from the 
forest or from the from the swamp but they spit tar at you and if it hits you you move very slowly now it's best to take these things out before they get too close oh my god accuracy Whoo! and tar is going to be useful because it's used to make uh, shingles yeah dark wood and dark wood is beautiful there are going to be many many a buildings that will have dark wood okay 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 Okay, now once the growths are no longer a problem, you see these? Tar, very nice, little stack. Uh, there is still a problem. Oi. Oh, oh, I got a sneak bonus on him, thank goodness. Maybe him too. Yep, he did. So, got all of this tar here now in all of this tar is more well more tar nuggets like this one there's only one way to get to the tar that I know of and that is essentially to dig a pit to drain the tar pit into We literally just have to make a massive hole in the ground, connect it by making a tiny little, you know, canal, and the tar will drain. And then what will be left over is the little tar nuggets. Oh, I see you. Woo! You could have been trouble. Thankfully, you weren't paying attention. Hey. Nope. Not today. Oh, we're looking pretty good. It's a really good run. That's not too close to the tar, is it? <laughs> nah. We got it. We're good. We're good. Um. Now the tar pit's usually pretty deep which means we have to make a very deep hole and this rock well you know what why am I making this harder on myself I shouldn't be trying to dig through the rock and I can just do it over here oh what 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 am I too close see what that was all about no I'm not too close I don't know why I got tar splatters like that it's a little unsettling almost a bedrock I'm sure my goodness okay we're at bedrock Cool. Now, let's dig out. Gotta make this hole bigger. Yeah, tar's that way, right? Is that what this is? Don't feel rested anymore. Compensate with the refresh of the food buff. We should be okay. Cloudberry. Am I still hitting bedrock? Oh, yeah, it's because this is the hill. Okay. We're getting there. Oh, 
I want to make sure it's good and deep so I drain all of it at once and I'm not trying to uh, compensate for it being too shallow or just too small. I think we're almost there. make my way out stamina Forever the fight. Okay. We are out. Let's drain this puppy and see what it's got for us, huh? Should be big enough. Oh, it's draining. There we go. Nice. Was it enough? Oh, I gotta make this deeper. It's still stuck in the tar. That one isn't though. Nor this one. <sighs> Pack space full. Bye bye stone. Oh, now they're stuck in the tar again. Okay, hold on. There we go. Okay, drain this a little bit more, and then we gotta run. Was it enough? Yes, it was. Let's get out of here. Put that away. We return home to safety. Yes, we made it out alive. I went into a new biome, and I'm not making a death run. <sighs> Love it. I'm gonna have to put the black metal away for a bit, though. Did I get new cooking recipes? I don't think I did. Other than, um, the potion. Yeah, no, these are all the same. Now, what does it take to make a blast furnace and the other new, uh, crafting stations let's see okay so first we have the stove oven that's 15 iron then we have we already got an artisan table blast furnace that's gonna be 10 iron with 20 stone and five cores we don't have enough iron which means we're gonna have to go get some Oh well. Alrighty guys, so I came back this way to pick up a boat I left over here when I remembered. On my way bringing this boat here, there is a goblin village right over here. You can see the spike walls a little bit right here. Now, we're definitely not gonna go attacking it from the boat. So it means we need to clear this guy out. He needs to not be a problem. So now he's not a problem. So what we're going to do... We're going to get this a little closer to the coast. Just to keep it from running away. And then... <clears throat> we're going to give that camp a shot. Thing with the villages... Okay, there are a lot, a lot, a lot of goblins, fuelings. I'm going to call them goblins because they're goblins. The trick 
is to see like this guy here peg one and wait because see that yeah yeah we don't want to make the whole camp angry right away okay we got one down and that big guy is coming He's okay. He's a one. He's no. He's a no star, which is good. This is this is uh, good for us. I'm gonna hop up these rocks to see if it'll make it a little harder for them to chase me. Can I get one? Nope. Nope. Sure can't. Whoop. Put these away. They're slowing me down. I'm not. I shouldn't need to quickly turn around and block. So. Even when they sneak up on you like that one tried to do. Oh my goodness, why is there... Okay, I don't think I made the whole camp angry. I could be wrong, but... Okay, we got another one down. You know what we need to do? We need to use this. Stamina is the name of the game. Got one. Oh, whoop! Only took a little hit. That's okay. It's all right. We're fine. So the berserkers aren't <laughs> like the fuelings, where they'll just kind of circle you for a bit and then try to go in for attack. No, the berserkers just mad the whole time. He's hopped up on shrooms. So we gotta isolate him as much as possible. Oh, there's a one star. Hi. You stop it. Oh, Jesus. Nope. Okay. So, yeah. That's why we block fuelings. They hit really hard. They don't have a crazy amount of health, but they have enough health to be a problem. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Hold it. Let's put some things away. Going a little too slow. Ah, sucks to miss. Sucks to miss. Oh my god. Spear chuckers. Two of them. There's two of them now. Excuse me, guy. Why couldn't you freaking burned like be poisoned to death okay okay it's okay it's okay it's okay poison damage really does not do much to these guys but it's still worth it to do something at least I'm taking some health off of them this really won't be as bad if I can get rid of that berserker. Oi. Okay. Okay. All right. We got a heal pot going. It's okay. It's okay. <sighs> I'm not trying to convince y'all. I'm trying to convince myself at this point. Yeet. Okay. Okay. Calm down. Excuse me. Doesn't help when the two left are spear chuckers. So the gap isn't all we need. Okay, that helps. At least get some damage on him. Woo! <sighs> a nice little sidestep. There we go. One down. One spear chucker down. Maybe I can make this guy's fight a, a lox. That would help me a lot. Mm, I would miss. Okay. Better. 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 
think for obvious reasons, we're not going to bother trying to attack the Berserker with melee. I think we're just going to keep kiting him and we're going to shoot him to death. Just like that. And then the other guy's going to be easy peasy after that. Oh, no, it's not. I wouldn't have enough time. Oh, geez, did I piss off a lox? I did. Dang it. Not good. Not good at all. Attack the berserker. The, oh. Okay. Okay. Get some stamina. Berserker's almost down. Oh, really? You're gonna make me shoot the locks? Okay. Got him. Okay. Locks is running. This is good. And the berserker's down. Which means we can fight this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Better. Oh, the locks is fine. He's still running. Oh, I got a, another totem. Who is he attacking? Oh, he's attacking a troll. Troll gonna help me get some locks meat? Well, whoever wins dies shortly after. I know that troll's doing decent damage, at least. I think my money's on the ox, though. Lots, I should say. Yep. Yep. I'd have won that bet. Oh my gosh, she has so much health. This is going to take a minute. Now we can deal with the locks melee. Oh, jeez. Okay. I need to learn how to how to see that coming. There we go. You know what? No. That's not worth it. That was 54 damage. How much do we do with an arrow? 70. See? Yeah, let's do that. Oh, look at look at that. Oh, they have a shaman. That blue light you saw is a shaman with... Oh! oh they're pissed. We're out of here. Bye. Back on the boat. Back on the boat. There's too many to deal with with a freaking locks on my tail. And I'm not rested. Oh. Yeah, fight those graylings. They should slow you down at least a tad. Eh. Eh, let's get out of here. They mean business. Are they gone? Ooh. It is a mighty battle going on over there. And I want none of it. See, there's a shaman again. Making force fields. Who is he shooting at? He get attacked by a mosquito. Well, not my problem right now. Oh, there's a fish. Okay. I mean, I was hoping for a sea serpent. A sea serpent stew is so good. Him's just a brute. The two shamans? 
That's going to take a while. We might have a couple visits like this where it's just kill what I can and then run. Alright everybody, as you can tell, this session of recording had a lot packed in it. Entering the new biome, attacking a goblin village, it's a lot. So in the respect for your time, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. I think the rest of my adventures are definitely going to end up in the next episode. So thank you for watching my videos. It means the world to me. It's absolutely been a great journey so far and I'm no plans on stopping. So with that in mind, have a good morning, day, evening, good night, and I will catch you in the next video. See ya.